Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be working on a crispy Xbox. Uh, as you can tell, something exploded and caught fire. That something is, or was in this case, a capacitor. It was sitting right below the clock capacitor that should have been removed or replaced a very long time ago, but was not. As you can tell, there's some charring here and it looks like a couple of components are missing and there's quite a bit of damage. Of course, we'll need to clean up all of this mess here and try and rebuild what we can. It does not look like it's gonna be an easy task, I'll tell you that much. But we're gonna go ahead and give it our best shot and see what happens. If you're wondering whether this Xbox still functions or not in its current condition, the video is right over there. Of course, nothing is bursting in the flames at the moment. So as you can tell, the clock capacitor spilled quite a bit of electrolytic fluid all over the board in this particular area. And it looks like it made it to where the capacitor below it burst in the flames and now we have all this damage. So we are missing a couple of components and those will need to be salvaged from another board but before we can get to that, we're gonna to wanna to clean up all of this. There's just so much corrosion and it looks like there's dirt there, but it's not really dirt. I mean, look at, look at the charred area right over here. That's, uh, that's pretty bad. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove these two capacitors right here. And we're gonna kind of assess the damage on the top side at least. Pretty sure this thing is gonna be quite smelly. Uh, and in case what you were wondering what the capacitor looked like that exploded inside of here looks like, that's what it looks like now. And I'm guessing this was uh, inside of the capacitor. Not looking the greatest. If you want a quick look at the back side, that's what we're dealing with. Scary times await us all. Almost don't even want to work on it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add some leaded solder to make this a little bit easier on ourselves. See, that is one of the capacitors and of course the clock capacitor, which amazingly enough got to survive this catastrophe. Just pull this from the bottom and the other side. And once again, the top. Well, it's almost out of there. Almost killed me. I've done quite a bit of these recappings, but I do not remember all of the cap values by heart. So I'll just set that one to the side for now. And then we have, of course, the clock capacitor, which we will not bother with replacing because this console doesn't require it. There it is. There's the reason for all of our problems. So now that we have those two items removed, we can start cleaning up the damage and removing some of this corrosion. I don't have any vinegar or lime juice or baking soda, so I'm just gonna do my best with alcohol to really power clean all this stuff off. We're gonna be using our electric toothbrush, this guy right here. It won't get into every crevice, but it'll get into quite a bit. And then we'll go in with a finer brush after we're done with this. He's making a pretty big mess. There's so much char all over the place. We'll go in with our finer brush and see what we can do to clean up this mess. May even decide to use the wire end of this brush to really get a lot of this grime out of there. And we do have the back side of the board that needs to be cleaned up and looked at. So we'll go ahead and do that next. I'm kind of hoping that most of the damage is localized to the front of the board. The capacitor that I thought was completely charred and ruined is actually in pretty good condition. It looked like it was burned to a crisp, but it's not. I'll have to double check, but I don't think we'll need to rebuild any traces here at the bottom. We'll know once I bust out the multimeter. Let's go ahead and check with our multimeter in beep mode to see what the status is of that particular area. Can't promise you're gonna be able to see much though. Looks like our bottom trace is good. And that was really the only one I had a question on. This damage just looks so catastrophic. So what about this? Is it really damaged or is it just charred? I guess it could be right here. So that trace is still good. And I am banking on this one being good too. Yep. I've spent the last 20 minutes or so trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this board. And this particular issue is the cause for concern. I could probably spend the time to put some coating under here and attempt to keep these two layers separated. 
but I don't think it's going to be electrically sound. And that's just what's visible here. There may be other areas it could be touching and causing shorts that I'm not aware of. So having said that, I think we'll probably go ahead and find a replacement board for this customer and transfer over their saves and their mod chip. And we're going to call it. This is technically a no fix video just because we're not fixing that kind of damage. That's uh, that's going to be too much work and probably not very safe. And remember, remove that clock capacitor or replace it or bad things can happen.